Jim here. Uh, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Uh, we're at execution phase and we're at step nine. And so this is at the point where we actually get to start to put it all together. The planning part has kind of ended somewhat and we're transitioning into the execution phase. So there's some things that we want to focus on here. And a lot of it has to do with the takeaway. We've finally gotten here. And uh, I want to give you some uh, ideas about your takeaway in the execution phase that will position you even better in your swing. Uh, and this is not new to most, but it might be new to you. So what we're going to do is that when we are up here at the ball, and you've seen me up here before, there's that moment of truth where you're taking the club back in a way. I see all kinds of takeaways, believe me. Um, everything from in here to straight up, we see everything. But what we want to do is help you uh, think getting wide on your swing, and wide meaning when you take the club back, we want to see that club straight back on a line, even sometimes a little bit out, out in a way. So this is what you'd want to see, and you can check that for yourself, uh, or have a friend do it. Uh, but in a round, before you ever swing, just and you're in position, just go ahead and loosely take the club back and hold it there. And if you can see a nice straight line, you're, you're positioned for success. And of course then from there you're going to come up to the top, and what you're looking for is the butt of the club aimed at your target line. Okay? We haven't talked about target line, but basically a target line is that path that the club's going to come on. So just uh, easily just take it back and do a self-check, kind of like checking your oil, making sure that you're on the right pay, pace. You're going to let your hips open up. So you're not going to just do this like a robot. You're going to naturally let the club just come back and watch my hip has turned. It, it's open on an angle. The, the power comes down low. Okay? It's not up in the chest necessarily, but you really got to get that bottom half of the body working. When you bring your club back here, you're going to feel your hip turn, that's good, but you're also going to feel your shoulders kind of go with it. It's almost like the whole body is in concert with each other. So it's back, up, and the reason I'm looking up is I'm just checking myself to make sure I, in a swing I don't, I, don't, I mean, we're, we're rocking and rolling. So, this part of the uh, step is to really make sure that you're set up for success, that your hip is opening, that your club is coming back and you're wide, and then when you turn and make that turn, you got the butt of the club pointed at the ground, uh, target line. So uh, let's give it a quick, uh, quick shot here and see what happens. Try not to get stuck with our hips. Let it go. about 15 feet away pulled it just a touch I uh, was probably thinking about too many things but um, hope that helps and uh, so that's we're into the execution phase and so that uh, first takeaway and thought is really important so hope that helps okay